Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? This is a reading for February for 2019 and the theme is love. So um, I have pre-shuffled the decks, so let's get right into it. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if it doesn't, take a look at your your moon rising and Venus signs as well. I tend to um, resonate more with my rising sign, which is Aquarius. I'm a Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, and Aquarius rising and Scorpio Venus. Okay. All right. So we're going to have a row up here and a row down here indicating two different people, two different energies. Um, you may resonate with the bottom, you may resonate with the top, okay? So it could go vice versa. All right, so let's get started here. For the top, we have, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the High Priestess, and we have the King of Swords. All right, and for the bottom row, we've got the Fool, Ten of Cups, and the Wheel. Okay. All right, so let's start up here. Eight of Wands. So there was some, some passionate communication that came in. Um, to this person on the top here. Uh, the High Priestess um, is somebody right now that's in her own power, in her own um, trusting her intuition. So she is taking in this communication, whatever it was. The King of Swords is somebody that you know, when he says something, you can you can count on it to be the truth. All right, so he is somebody that brings clarity. He is firm in his decisions. So I think this communication that has come in is truthful. You can you can bank on it, <clears throat> and it's something that. you're intuitively you're intuitively feeling right now i'm going to get some clarification right away on what this communication was because whatever it was <clears throat> it was truthful And you, you intuitively know that. But I just need more information. All right, so we have Knight of Pentacles. Um, so this communication, again, very, very trustworthy. Uh, it's somebody that is taking their time <clears throat> with this process or took their time to come to this conclusion to clearly communicate a message here. For this person down here, this means uh, a fresh start and an opportunity to basically have everything they want in love, everything that you want in love. And with the, the wheel here, okay, so we have, we have three major arcanas. We have the high priestess, the fool, and the wheel. All very positive cards, and all cards about 
owning your own power, trusting, trusting yourself, and it's about coming together, coming together in a new situation, a new relationship that has the opportunity to be very, very successful with this wheel here. I'm going to clarify the fool. Because going from 0 to 10 needs a little bit of clarification. And this is for Pisces. Okay. Six of Pentacles is clarifying the fool. Um, so I feel like this person is really willing to do what it takes to make whatever this communication was, this trustworthy, certain communication up here that I think was very passionate in nature and it's a, a, it's a communication that you can trust. And you are trusting it. Okay? Six of Pentacles is about balancing the give and take in a relationship. So... When this card is between these two cards, which is where it should be, it's very positive because both cards here are very positive and moving towards new beginnings, new directions. There is going to be a balance of give and take between these two people that can lead to an extremely successful, loving relationship. This person intuitively knows that. This person is taking a, a leap of faith. So this person is probably the one that spoke this truth. And you are banking on the fact that this is going to bring you a successful outcome. I think this person is going to move more slowly than this person wants them to. And that's okay. But it feels as though both are on the same page about this relationship and, and moving it forward. I think the only difference is about the pace. This person is moving more slowly than this person. I think this is you. I think you are the one that communicated to this person. This person is um, was truthful in their response to you, so trust it, which you are, but they are going to be moving at a more s slower pace than you prefer, is what I'm getting. All right, so let's take a look at the Romance Angels to validate each side here. One. Two. All right, let's see. Trust. Well, if that just doesn't validate everything, 
And I, I think this validates exactly what I've been saying about this, this person up here or this communication being very, very trustworthy. So the communication that that this person received, they are they are trusting it coming from you. Or vice versa. Okay? So I think that is very validating. And then this person down here, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, which you are, because you made that eight of wands communication okay you trusted it you believe that you are on the right course that you are on the right path and so does this person but you guys are just on a different pace all right so that's all i have for you pisces have uh have a wonderful february um if you want a deeper more um specific reading um all the information of how to do that is in the description box below I would be more than happy to, to help you with that. Otherwise, I will talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.